experts say hundreds of people die from opioids every day. And today, the New River Community Services hosted an opioid prevention event at New River Community College to help bring awareness to the issue. To news reporter Thomas Mundy is sharing a story of heartbreak and community. I say fentanyl poisoning. Um, it was not an overdose in our classic form of thought. He was poisoned. I knew at that point something was wrong. And Rhonda Baldwin is just one of hundreds of moms that has lost her child to the ongoing opioid crisis. Um, I came today because I lost my 20-year-old son in 2021, um, six days after he had turned 20 years old. I knew all the things to talk to my kid about. We'd had those tough conversations. I had gotten the prescription drugs out of my home, and my child still became addicted to prescription drugs. Drugs. Experts estimate 300 Americans die every day from an opioid overdose, often from the drug fentanyl. That is why organizations like New River Valley Community Services host prevention events to help bring awareness to the community. The purpose today is to bring the community folks together to talk about what's happening, to start talking about how, how we got here, how we're going to get out of this, and that it is a community effort. At the event, there were speakers across the community and it ended with the author and activist Beth Macy speaking about the crisis. In order to turn the overdose crisis back, we have to have community support. And so an event like this is so important where people can come together, share information, learn new things, maybe check some of their blind spots. Right now we have an 87% treatment gap in America. That means only 13% of folks with opioid use disorder are managing to get evidence-based care. Baldwin says she hopes events like this will lower the stigma behind addiction. I'm hoping that people take away that it is a community problem. It's not those people. It can happen to anyone. Reporting in Montgomery County, I'm Thomas Mundy, 10 News, working for you.